So are shakedown runs necessary? Do you have to do a shakedown run? Uh, yeah. What's up all you cool cats and shop rats? Welcome back to Rule Hard Garage. Listen, I don't even know if you like being called cool cats or shop rats. I mean, I'm a shop rat and a cool cat. Are you? This week, we are doing a shakedown on the VLX 600 budget chopper. So you may not even know what a shakedown is. You may not even know how to do it. But we're going to get into that today. We're going to talk about what a shakedown is, how to do it, and then I'm going to take you guys along with me on the shakedown on the VLX. And let's just say it got shook. So stick around to the end of the video. We'll talk about what happened, uh, what I'm going to do to fix it, where things went wrong. It's going to be a good video. Let's go. First things first, what is a shakedown? Now I understand some of you guys might know this. Some of you guys might be like, that's, that's freaking obvious. But maybe there's some people who don't. So a shakedown is basically a test ride. And that's all it really is. You're taking the bike out, you're riding the shit out of it, and you're hoping that something happens or nothing happens. And at the end of it, you've learned something about the motorcycle. Either it's a piece of shit or it's not a piece of shit. I mean, that's really all we're doing. Now some shakedown rides might be long, some shakedown rides might be short. Sometimes your shakedown run is the first time you ride it and you've got plans to go somewhere and all the parts that fall off along the way, you just gotta figure out how to put them back on when you get back. That's what a shakedown run is. How do I do a shakedown run? Well, it's pretty simple. Like I just said, you just ride the shit out of your motorcycle. Uh, but first, what you're gonna wanna do, you wanna go through the motorcycle, double check all your bolts, you wanna make sure that the wheels are tight, your brake calipers are tight, your sprockets are tight, uh, you've got all your wiring zip tied up out of the way, nothing's gonna hit the tire, your clearances are good. You wanna double, triple check all of that stuff before you go out. Last thing you want is to go out and die because you forgot to tighten some goddamn bolt on your brakes. Don't be an idiot. Now another thing that's very important to do is have some sort of plan for breaking down. Me, I didn't make a plan. I never make a plan. I just hope that I make it home. But it would be advised that you do make a plan, whether that be your wife to come pick you up in your, uh, your van or a friend or a buddy to come pick you up, or just push this thing all the way to hell home. In that case, you probably don't want to go far. We definitely probably want to hop on the highway, feel one of those out, um, take it on some gravel roads over some bumps, maybe some jumps, some wheelies, I don't know, whatever you're into, whatever you're going to do with the bike, you're probably going to want to try it out today to make sure you're not going to thrash shit when you're out on the road hanging out with your homies. As promised, I'm taking you guys along with me on the shakedown run on the VLX 600 budget chopper. This is the second shakedown run that we did. The night before, Lindsay took the motorcycle out. Uh, I followed along with her. Everything ran flawlessly, everything ran fine. She did fine on the bike, it fits perfect. That's great. I want to take it on my own shakedown run, uh, get it up to speed and just kind of get a feel for everything. I want to make sure things are good and safe before I send my wife out on it, right? Check it out. Oh, that's coming loose. Oh, oh yeah, and this uh, foot peg is doubling as a plate mount until we get this uh, sissy bar done. But overall, this thing's fun, man. I'm really fucking digging this bike. Uh, I'm going to chuck over this a little bit more, and then we're going to keep going. 
Uh, probably put another mile on it or so, take it back to the house, check, make sure everything's tight. Uh, but so far, so good. So after I left, after I said everything that was working good, uh, hit one giant bump and guess what? Things aren't working okay. So the tire here I actually measured for clearance and I thought I was good. I used a ratchet strap to jack it down to make sure my clearance was good, but I hit a huge ass bump and clearly it was not good. And then, you know, that tail light, some old ass fucking tail light from eBay. So I'm not going to be able to get another one of those. So that's why I've got a whole box of LEDs. So we'll probably trim this out and then uh, grab some of these guys here. Throw some of those in. It's gonna add some time to the project, but it's probably for the best anyways. So what went wrong? Huge bump, bottom out the suspension, tire, hit the tail light, no more tail light, she's dead. Uh, so I cut her off, threw her in my pocket, and I headed home. So what I would normally do when I'm measuring clearances for something like that, when I'm gonna put something under or I'm worried about something hitting the tire, uh, I would take the suspension measure the distance between the bump stop and the shock, uh, figure out the total compressed uh, height of that shock, taking the shock out, lowered the bike to that exact length, that way I knew for sure that the suspension would never travel past that point. Well, I didn't do that on this one because I'm trying to save time, I'm trying to save money, and I'm just trying to get things done faster. So that is an example of a way that when you are in a hurry and you try to do things a little faster, you cut corners, things can come around to bite you. But that's exactly why we took it on a shakedown. So I would say shakedown successful. The bike has been shook. Uh, glad that didn't happen further out on the road. Now what I'm gonna do to fix it, I'm not exactly sure. That's all that we have for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I know that you guys are coming and watching these damn videos and you're not subscribing, so subscribe. Please. Pretty please. Uh, also, check out that playlist. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Peace.